This is a tu the tutorial on the absence of me. This project is inspired by artist Andy Butler, who creates these famous um, portraits that are missing part of the face. And in the handout uh, in Otis, what, I'm, what you're looking at right now, this presentation is linked there so you can look through it. Um, what you're going to do is take a close-up photo of yourself or of anyone else. And um, in this lesson, the face is ripped, but obviously we're doing it digitally. So what you're going to do is you're going to erase around the face and keep three things. You need one eye, you need one nose, obviously one nose, and a mouth. Eye, nose, mouth. That's what needs to remain. Everything else can be erased. And you want to erase it in a way that it looks kind of like torn paper, like you see here. And then once you do that, you're going to use your paints and draw around it um, in colors. And what you can do is do maybe a thick brush and then a little bit of a thinner brush, maybe lower the opacity a little. And you can see on the mouth here, there's some black dripping paint. Um, you can do that with the mouth as well or with another part. It doesn't really matter. You can make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly how um, you see it on the screen, but you want to draw inspiration from this. And here's a picture of the finished project. So I'm going to walk you step by step and show you how it's done using Klecky. Of course, you can use Adobe or Procreate. So step one is to go to Google Images and Google a person you want to use, or you can do a picture of yourself. It's really up to you. I'm going to do a Barack Obama, and you want to find a picture that's really close up, not a far away one, a close up picture. And when you find it, you can either screenshot it or control click or command click and save the image to your desktop. So I'm going to open up Klecky, hit the yellow folder, and select the image of Barack Obama and choose as a layer. I'm going to size it so his face is really large and fits on the canvas. I don't need anything besides his face. So now you can see his face is nice and large. And then I'm going to erase so that what is left is an eye, nose, and mouth. And I'm going to try to do it very asymmetrically so that it looks kind of like ripped, torn um, paper. You don't want to do perfect circles because then you're going to kind of lose the effect. Once you do that, you're going to erase everything except the eye, nose, and mouth. I'm going to speed this up. And then using my brush, I'm going to trace around the eye um, using whatever color you want. You can see that my paintbrush is relatively thick. And what I'm going to do is after I do the first um, trace, I'm going to lower the opacity and I'm going to make my brush thinner so that it kind of gradually gets lighter and, and smaller. You don't have to do it this way, but this is how um, I'm going to do it and it's kind of an easy way to do it so you get the look that you're looking for. You can see my paintbrush is getting smaller and smaller and lighter and lighter. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing for the nose and the mouth. I'm going to speed this up. Now I'm going to trace the mouth with black paint and I'm going to try to draw the dripping paint. Now you don't have to do it this way. It's again just a suggestion. Um, you can do any version of this in any way that you want. But you can see I'm going to draw these lines and I'm going to make dripping paint. I'll speed it up. Okay, now you can see the background's pretty boring, so I'm going to go to Google Images and I'm going to type in torn newspaper background. Um, and there's something that I really like. You can see that how interesting that looks. 
I'm going to save it. And you don't have to do torn background newspaper. You could do torn paper. You could do watercolor. You could do um, whatever you want. But I'm going to add this torn newspaper to as a layer and hit OK. I'm going to size it first and then hit OK. And now it's covering Barack Obama. So I have to go to layers. I'm going to push it underneath. And there it goes. Now, last thing, really important. You can see that his face gets kind of lost. So I'm going to go to edit, transform. I'm sorry, edit, crop, edit, crop. And I cropped it so that his face doesn't get lost. And again, you can use any kind of background from a watercolor to an image to torn paper, however you want to do it. And then remember to hit that blue arrow down to save it and then upload it to Otis.